everyone. I'll be talking on mitigating the critical infrastructure vulnerabilities. First, I want to appreciate the organizers for putting this together. You know, this is very key for the growing digital economy because without the critical infrastructure, the digital economy cannot really evolve as it should be. And the need to ensure that this critical infrastructure are protected and also the vulnerability that exists within this critical infrastructure. Um, looking at the growth of the digital economy, it's growing by the day where we have e-commerce and a whole lot of things going on within the digital space. And as it's also increasing, the attacks across the digital space is also on the increase. And we've seen the last um, couple of years, which is, we've seen 50% increase in energy utility facility. We've seen what's happening in Russia, all over the nations, and we see what's happening globally. Meaning critical infrastructure has become uh, a point of attack for cyber related issues. And what we've seen is this. What this means is that it has an impact in how the digital economy will evolve. Now, we've seen some top uh, cyber attack on critical infrastructure. Looking at the Triton malware in 2017, the Taiwan state-owned energy company, the Israeli water system, and so on. The Ukraine power grid, all of these across the critical infrastructure. And when all these critical infrastructure are affected, what that means is that the digital economy has also had a way of being affected. Because why? The critical infrastructure are the, the backbone for the digital economy to ride on. I'll be looking at it from this um, broad perspective. So first and foremost, before you begin to uh, mitigate this vulnerability, first of all, you need to do what, who, what are the critical infrastructure? And what are the digital um, initiative or platforms that run on this critical infrastructure? Categorizing them, looking at the various policies, looking at it from a risk assessment perspective, vulnerability assessment, protection, then the need for security incident monitoring, data and cyber resilience, and the last one, collaboration. In education, there are uh, four, three key things. One is the middle. What are the critical infrastructure? What are the data initiatives that run on this critical infrastructure? Who owns them? Where are they located? And what is their value? All of this will determine what should be done in terms of mitigating against the vulnerability that exists within this critical infrastructure. And in categorization, there are two things here. What are the crown joys? Now, the priority I'll give to a critical infrastructure, let me say telecommunication, may be different from what I would give to, let me say, transportation. We know what happens when the telecommunication system goes down. It can put a whole nation in chaos. But when there's a cut in, let me say, transportation, the priority, for example, is less compared to that of the telecommunication system. Then we need to what prioritize. After they define all of this critical infrastructure, they need to what prioritize. Which one has the highest level of what priority? Then we need to identify what are the various policies and processes that we have in place in terms of how those critical infrastructure should be protected. Based on this, we would have defined a standard baseline of how this critical infrastructure should run. Now, looking at the growth of the data economy, coming into this space, they need to also confirm to, okay, if you are coming into this space, these are some standards you must what, adhere to. This will also help to ensure that these critical infrastructures are what adequately what protected. Risk assessments, having identified the first uh, critical infrastructure, they need to, need to look at how are these assets or this infrastructure exposed. Looking at the risk assessments, carrying that risk to identify, okay, what are the vulnerabilities that exist within this critical infrastructure? What may likely happen if this asset is affected? What may likely happen if this critical infrastructure goes down? Based on that, we cannot come up with a framework to say, okay, these are my top risks being exposed by this critical infrastructure. I will begin to look at the mitigating controls within each of these critical infrastructures. The vulnerability adjustment, this is very key. Now, having put in this infrastructure in place, okay, you have some controls within them. Periodically, you need to carry out assessment to say, okay, this control may be working today. Tomorrow, something may be wrong, because why? New attack, new risk coming up. So assessment will help identify what are the various um, uh, risks these various assets are exposed to, and the technical failures within this critical infrastructure. The next part is protection, which is also key. Now, all these assets have been set up how protected are they? What is the level of protection? Yes, if the protection are they, are they well configured to meet the required standard? 
If not, the protection may be there. It may not really provide the needed work, network or protection for those kind of assets. This is also something that is also very key within the critical infrastructure. We either need to be a central repository for monitoring all of this critical infrastructure in terms of when there's an incident within this infrastructure, what should happen for all these sectors. Also for the digital what, um, platforms. We know what is happening within the fintech industry. A lot of digital initiatives are coming up. Some are coming with a lot of platforms. But you know what? Something is very, very key. When we are not monitoring what is happening within this space, when there's an incident, what happens? How do we what, collaborate to ensure that all of these incidents are monitored? Response to all of these issues. And then, data and cyber resilience. Where all of these um, assets need to be what? Digitally what? Responsive. Then cyber resilience, because you can't take that away. Where there's an attack, attack, what happens? How do you fall back? Where we look at the issue of backups, what are the protections? How do you have a BCP, we have continuity plans for issue of a disaster, and how do you come back to ensure that business continues as usual? That you can't run away from. It's something you must plan and prepare for. This is also very uh, a key aspect in terms of um, mitigating against the vulnerabilities. Now, when there's an identified vulnerabilities, collaboration is very key. We are all the various players within the sector collaborate in sharing knowledge in form of interaction, threat intelligence, so, so many things I've said concerning that. We all collaborate, we need to look at, oh, this is what is happening within this sector. This is an attack that just occurred. These are the controls that need to be put in place or we just notice an incident. All of this coming together, we ensure that all of this what, critical infrastructure are adequately what, protected. But when they are being managed in, si uh, managed in silos, maybe something happened in an industry, this other industry doesn't even know what's happening or this other sector doesn't know what's happening. It becomes what, very difficult to what, mitigate against all of these um, threats. Looking at this um, diagram, for example, we can see the critical infrastructure sector. Now all of these, they are all what, connected. And for the digital economy to run successfully, you can see the connection within each of these. Looking at what should be done, as this, uh, said earlier in the previous slide, all of this working together, what happens? You need to what, protect all of these critical infrastructure because why? They are very what, critical for the digital economy to strive. And in conclusion, there is need for a national cyber security strategy for the digital economy within the nations within the African continent. This is very key. They talked about so many things about the policies that they have, the data protection, all of these put together serve as a, what, a very vital platform for the data economy to strive. Integrated cyber resilience operation center is also very key. Then the cyber uh, compliance requirements. The last one is change is coming. Nature and physical attacks are not only threats to infrastructure any longer as critical sector increasingly rely on wireless, what, and interconnected system. And this trade phase, I what, evolving to the need to ensure that they are actually what, protected. Network resilience and operation are paramount, and that connectivity remains uninterrupted. Constant vigilance and check on them is not only enough, but need to be on a continuous basis, as these are very integral to the growth of the digital economy. Thank you. A round of applause, please. <laughs> All right. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much.